Hi everyone, I'm Maddie and I'm at RAL Space, the UK's National Space Laboratory, where I've been given special permission to go inside some of their high-tech areas where they have assembled one of the amazing scientific instruments that is on board the world's largest, most powerful telescope to ever go into space, the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's go. Before we go into this area where we can see and talk about the scientific instrument, we have to go through a clean room and get cleaned up. Come along and I'll show you what that means. Hello, Sean. Hi, Maddie. So this is the clean room. That's right. What does that mean? Uh, this is where we get changed and dressed so that we can work on space hardware. And that's because the dirtiest thing that could go in there is basically a human. Yes, that's so right. So I've got to get completely covered up. OK, so first we need to put these little blue shoe covers on. All right, shoe covers on to cover up my trainers because they could have some muck on them. One. So I've got my shoe covers on and I've now stepped over to the clean side of the room. That's right. All, All right. right, what's next? OK, so next we need to put a hair net and we need to change your mask. So now... Feel a little bit like a duck. There we go. Uh, so we put another layer on, on your head. This is a hood. This is the most amount of protective clothing I've ever worn and we're not even finished yet. So the goal here is to not get the suit dirty. Right. Uh, so it's a test of your balance. Then we have another pair of uh, shoes that go over the top. So, so these are overshoes? These are overshoes. I don't know what else we could cover other than my eyes. And then the last thing we do is we put a pair of gloves on. I feel like I'm about to go into surgery. And there you go. You're, you're I'm done. done. You're ready. I'm officially clean and allowed to go into the next room. That's right. OK, Mandy and Greg, they're all set too. In fact, come over here. This way. Mandy, Greg, we're all clean, which means we can go on in. This way. Hello, Catherine. Hi. It is very impressive to be all dressed up and inside a clean room for the first time. What happened inside rooms like this? This is where we build instruments that go into SACE and prepare them for the testing we have to do before launch. And why is it so important that we look like this? Because any dust that ends up on the instrument, anything like that, we can't clean off when it gets into space. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that we keep it as clean as we can now mm -hmm. so that there's no chance of dust particles landing on a lens and causing issues once it's in space and once we can't do anything about it. I understand that you and the team here, you are responsible for putting together one of the instruments that's going on board the James Webb Space Telescope. And this is it. What is it? This is MIRI, and this is one of the four instruments that's going to be flying on the James Webb Space Telescope. MIRI stands for Mid-Infrared Instrument, which means that it's looking for tiny bits of heat really far away to try and work out how the universe started. <laughs> Just a small job. Yeah, <laughs> quite Just difficult. <laughs> Just trying to work out how the universe started. That word, infrared, it reminds me. I want to show you something. Bear with me, Catherine. Infrared, let's talk about that. Infrared is what MIRI uses to help the James Webb Space Telescope look deep into space. It will allow us to see through dusty space clouds where new stars are born, and we'll even be able to see planets like Neptune and Uranus in brand new ways. But how does it work? Well, let me explain. We see the world in visible light. That's light that comes from the sun or from a lamp that we switch on at the wall. However, MIRI uses infrared light. And thankfully, so does this camera. It essentially shows us how hot or cold things are. Look, if I point this in front of me, we can see Mandy behind the camera, give us a wave. There's Greg. Hi. And also, we have the RAL Space team. Hello. Hi. I've got an idea for an experiment. Greg, will you come and join me? Sure. Here we go. Let's just focus on you. <laughs> nice. Let's take a close look at Greg's face. So, what colour is Greg's face? It is red. That means Greg's face is pretty warm. But your nose is yellow. Touch your nose. Would you say your nose is cooler? It's cold. Yeah. In fact, your finger is blue, so your finger must be much cooler than They're the rest a bit of your chilly, nose. to be fair. Yeah? <laughs> And if we look around Greg's head, we can see it's blue and purple, which means it's much cooler. Now, I'm going to point this at Greg's feet because Greg has conveniently taken his shoes off. 
So right now, we can see that Greg's feet are really hot because they look red. But now, Greg, take a step to your right and look. With my eyes using visible light, I can't see those footprints. However, the heat has transferred, that thermal energy has transferred from Greg's feet to the floor and the infrared light can see it. So that's a little bit like how Miri is working. Let's try one more thing. Greg, you have a bin bag. We're going to pretend that this bin bag is a dusty cloud of dust and gas up in space. We call them nebula. And Greg's hand, which is inside the nebula, is a star. With visible light, we can't see the star, can we? However, if we use infrared light, which is what Miri uses, suddenly we can see that star. And look, if Greg moves his fingers, that star is even twinkling. So this is what Miri is going to do. It's going to allow us to look through nebula to see stars being born. It's going to allow us to see things that we have never seen before, which is very exciting. Thumbs thanks. up. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Welcome. Right. I've got to go join Catherine. Have fun. Hi. Sorry about that, Catherine. So, Miri, we can kind of think of it a bit like a special camera. Are you able to point any bits out to me? Yes, so first off, the light comes in through the bottom of the camera here, and then there's a mirror, and the light bounces off the mirror, and like a periscope, it then goes up into the instrument. So the light gets split into these two detectors here, and all the information goes through all of these wires back to the spacecraft, where it goes back down to Earth, and the scientists can learn about what's happening in deep space. This isn't the actual MIRI that's on board the James Webb Space Telescope. No, this is what we call an engineering model. All of the different parts of it are very similar to the actual instrument that's currently on the James Webb Space Telescope, but it allows us to do some testing of the instrument that isn't the real instrument. The actual MIRI was put together inside this very room, though, but for it to go into space, it doesn't look like this. This one is a bit like a scientific instrument that's not wearing any clothes. If this was to go into space, a few things would need to happen to it. Yeah, so before we send it into space, we need to fit something called multi-layer insulation, and that's like a really fancy shiny blanket that goes on the outside of the instrument and protects it from the really hot and really cold temperatures that it might see in space. And that's something that you do. Yes, so my group, we build multi-layer insulation and then fit it to instruments to make sure that they don't get too hot. How does it feel to be part of something so important? Oh, it's very exciting. Some of the scientists and engineers have been working on it for 20 years now, so it'll be amazing for them to be able to get results down from the instrument finally. Amazing, well, thank you so much. In my next video, I'm going to be talking more about the testing stage, but for now, I just want to say, Catherine, thank you for having me and showing us around a clean room. Oh, thank you. If you'd like to know more about the James Webb Space Telescope, the world's largest, most powerful telescope ever to be launched into space, then Greg made a live mission briefing where he finds out what Webb is, how it's launched into space and what it might discover. Link in the video description to watch that. Subscribe for more videos and until next time, stay curious.